That's the ridge we need to take up right there. It's gonna be a beautiful day. It's gonna open up. The clouds are here to keep the snow from melting for the time being until we get up there and enjoy it. Right, Matt? transition a little bit more and we'll crest out at that ridge making some good elevations up yeah yeah booking it up through the uh spruce grove man it's beautiful up here matt's making his way through some alder patches straights down there that's raspberry island blue skies the sun is going to burn this stuff off and be picturesque up there. What a cool little spruce patch. We're hiking up and Matt's helping me practice kindness and understanding and patience. What else? That's about it then. Yeah. I'm a little I'm a little rough on the edges. A little analytical, a little logical. Not very much emotion. But iron sharpening iron. What do you think? Did we find the goods? Sure. A little lunch break. Finally got out of that little patch of spruce. It wasn't a little patch. It was acres and acres of it. Pretty thick, huh? Your kindness and hope shines through with goggles like like Christ's hail. A little dicey. I think we're gonna leave our skis and skins here and see if we can tag the summit real quick. And then come back down and that's it. Our last tour. So, Oma Peak. There's Tiger Point, Tiger Cape. I guess I did have a little false summit. Lots of spruce right there that we punched through over the middle of the screen. And the lake should be somewhere here. And then what we're going to try to do, we're going to ski out of the drainage from the lake. But basically, all the slopes are just around this ridge line. So, See, next time we'll bring some tools and get up higher. That's the little peak. This slope is all pretty fun. That uh, I would probably take that ridge up, unless you want to just elevator it up with some crampons on the uh, skier's right, otherwise skier's left. And then we're gonna try to follow this drainage out. Gain the ridge, sleep in the tent. Get up and ski the ridge and climb the bowl and ski the ridge and climb the skis and... Okay. <laughs> ski the drainage out to the ocean, ski the ocean down to the lodge and ski the lodge. What a cool perspective. You can see raspberry stripes zigzagging this way and that way. And then there's Katmai getting blasted by the sun. You get this little cloud cover. Alaska boats, some of the world-class skiing, some of the best skiing in the world. 
and uh, here we are enjoying some of it. Yep. The, the real reason why we uh, wear ski goggles isn't for the powder, it's uh, for the multitude of branches we encounter while trying to get turns. Coming really handy when, uh, when we're out skiing with goggles. So we're shout out to whatever brand goggles this is. If it wasn't for these goggles, I would have to call the Coast Guard because eyesight, life or limb, my eye would have branch sticking out of it right now. So thank you. Okay. Whatever. Whatever this is. And, and while we're while we're at it, I um, really want to give a shout out to Black Diamond for these vegetation flatteners. Um, they work great. They uh, allow you to kind of float on top of all the salmon berries and, and the alders and just gotta make sure to keep your tips up. Um, other than that, they're extremely efficient mode of transportation for, um, for thickly, thickly, very thickly vegetated areas, densely vegetated areas, I think is the word I was looking for. But uh, I would highly recommend you getting a pair of vegetation flatteners such as these. Those two deer are like, what the heck did we just see? What the hell's wrong with those people? Why are they still on skis? Shouldn't they be walking on boots or something? No. Crazy. There it is. Summit to sea. Stallion awaits, Matthew, skis still on.